Next question is from Chai Latte. How do I get rid of shoulder winging? What sort of problems will I face if I don't address it? Well, let's talk about the problems first, okay? So the scapula and the way that it moves, right? The way that it retracts and elevates and rotates and wings and all that stuff is a very important part of shoulder function. So when you look at the shoulder and your ability, like if I were to reach up with my arm and prevent my scapula from rotating up, I'd, I'd be very limited with my movement. Any further movement requires scapular mobility, for example. It's a very important part of shoulder movement. So if your shoulder blade is unstable, mm -hmm. you will develop shoulder problems. Aesthetically, you'll develop muscular issues as well, but you're going to have shoulder pain and shoulder problems. Okay, So here's an easy way to work on this. Uh, try this first because you want to do this without resistance before you start to do this with resistance. Practice a front lat spread. This is a, a pose in bodybuilding. This particular pose, you know, when bodybuilders make their lats come out, that is that movement requires the scapula to come in and come out. So rather than wing back, right, it's externally rotating and flattening out. Practice that. Once you can start to kind of get that movement, then what you can do is you can put your hands up against the wall, you can bring your shoulder blades back, and then round your shoulders into a lat spread. And just practice that movement, get that down, yeah. and then you can make the resistance more challenging by going uh, on a decline and then, of course, Yeah, I like on that and just scapular circles, mm -hmm. you know, and just like really like adding tension to that. So we start building in that that added support by being able to recruit, you know, the musculature around it. You so. did that in the webinar, right? Yeah. So that's the direction I would point you guys. I was smirking at Sal when he was talking about that because uh, I've worked with a lot of clients that are like higher level, uh, you know, trying to compete, right? So your competitors. And one of the hardest things to teach somebody who's even been working out for 10 years and it wants to compete. Very hard. Is to teach a lat spread. So I'm over here laughing because I'm like, you just yes. told our audience to like practice a lat spread, which is fucking hard to do for a lot of people. I find it very easy to do because we've been training this for a very long time. And it's I think it is a great way to help this. But if you've got somebody with a winging scapula or and if you're an average person who's just really getting into fitness, learning to do a lat spread is one of the hardest poses for anybody to do. You're so. going to have to learn it though. <laughs> you, you know, yeah, you, you can yeah. do all the scapular shoulder, you know, circles you want, but you're going to have to learn that connection, that movement of spreading your lats or rounding the shoulders forward and flattening the scapula. Yeah. You have to learn that. At I mean, I, I like taking like a really light uh, seated row and exaggerating the forward and the retraction. Let it yeah. pull forward. Yeah, yeah let it. That's... Let the shoulders completely roll forward and then completely the roll back. Yeah, yeah, with the cable. yeah. So a seated cable row. Let the the shoulders completely roll forward, which will give you that flare that Sal's kind of talking about. And then retract and roll back. And it's a lightweight. And then put emphasis on the both ends. Right. So as I'm I'm out. I'm going to I'm going to let it be stretched out for a few seconds, so 3 to 5 seconds or reach out with it. Yeah, right. So so and then and then after that I'm going to come back in and I'm going to squeeze and at the end I'm going to hold for 3 to 5 seconds. So create those those uh, isometric uh, portions of the movement and do that with a weight that's relatively light. And you can do that with a band too, so bands work for this, but I think the cable is a is a great place to start. Um, that's probably the place I would start somebody. Now, of course, I would love to get them to a place where I could have them stand and then be able to do that. I mean, have you guys worked with people who have winging stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, one pretty, of the, it's pretty common. It's one of the harder things to correct. It yeah. is. Yeah. It's a very challenging thing to, cor to correct because connecting to that movement can be, you know, so damn hard. And but they, once you get it, you get it. Yeah. yeah. And you have to, and the person should know this too, like, you know, be ready for your bench and shoulder press and a lot of these movements that you've, you're used to doing to probably regress a little bit to get good at that. Mm -hmm. Because you've probably got good at the, you know, as Sal talks about the hunt and peck method, you know, so your, your pattern of movement, if you've been exercising with a winging scapula for a long time, now trying to get you to to move that correctly and, and then go do these exercises you're used to, be ready for you to have to reduce weight and don't let that stop you from doing this.